Welcome to Yoga Fusion. Today I've got myself two dumbbells, kind of medium-ish. So if you've got dumbbells, you can grab those. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use cans of food, whatever you've got. We're sort of mountain pose today. I'm going to take a hip width stance. Take a closer stance if it's your practice to do so. We'll stack the spine. We'll activate the legs. Draw the kneecaps up. Draw the navel in and up as though we pull it to our rib cage. The sternum lifted, chin parallel to the floor, pressing the crown of the head up toward the ceiling. We can imagine there's energy flowing up the front of the body, then down the back of the body as we roll our shoulders back and down, sliding the sacrum down, finding length in the lower back, extending out through our fingertips with nice starfish hands. Arms are active, fingers are active. The body is nice and active. Find breath. Shifting our weight from one foot to the other, we ground our feet to the floor or mat. We can shift to the left foot. And lift the right foot. And point and flex. And circle the toes. Reverse the circles. And make this with the toes and open. Make this with the toes and open. And ground back down again. Shifting into that right foot, lifting the left foot, pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing, circling, circling, reversing the circles, making fists from toes, releasing, fists, releasing. Get grounding down, just wake up the proprioceptors in our feet. Let's just flow our arms in a gentle infinity sign or figure eight pattern. You move into the shoulders. And we can inhale the circle, swing the arms up with the thumbs pointing back, and exhale to press down, thumbs pointing forward. Inhale, opening up, exhale, pressing down. Inhale to lift, exhale to press. On our next inhale, we're going to stay up here, and as we exhale, we'll sway to the right. Inhale to expand those left side ribs, exhale a little deeper, inhale to open. Exhale to sway. Inhale to rise back up. On our next inhale, we'll lift. On our exhale, we'll sway to the left. Opening up side ribs. Using the breath to expand the rib cage. Then sink deeper with our sinking breath. And rise back up. Let's take a gentle swan dive, softening our knees, hinging the hips. Coming down to forward fold, bringing the right hand to the left elbow, the left hand to the right elbow. Nodding the head or shaking the head to release any tension in the neck. Swaying the arm in and out or side to side, releasing the back and spine. Let's let go of our elbows. On our next inhale, we'll lift halfway, we'll flat back, still spot a good shoulder blades down, keeping that nice mountain pose in the upper body, the gaze is primarily down. Inhale and exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Next big inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sway to the right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Knees are soft. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sway right. Inhale, tall. Exhale, sway left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive with soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sway right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sway left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hands coming to heart center, pushing hips back, coming to a nice, easy chair to slide. Grounding into our feet. Lengthening the spine. Make sure keep those shoulders back and down. Try to find that openness across your front body. Bringing hands to hips. Look like a seated cat cow in our imaginary chair. Inhale, lifting chest and tailbone, arching the back. Exhale, sweeping the abs, curling in. 
Anyhow, lifting, extending out into cow. Exhale, squeezing into cat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, lift. And scoop. Come back to neutral. On our next inhale, we'll scoop up. We'll swan dive. We'll inhale to lift halfway. We'll exhale to hold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, sway right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sway left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, from the chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sway left, right. Inhale, tall. Exhale, sway left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, for that easy chair. Inhale, rise. One more time. Let's swan dive. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Sweep up. Sway right. Rise. Sway left. Rise. Easy chair. Rise. Just come to heart center. Let's do some lunges back now. Let's inhale. Keep our arms up and step back. Left foot. Finding length. Sinking. Breathing. Bring hands to heart center. Let's inhale and lean forward. And exhale to turn, hooking that left elbow over that right leg if it's available to you. With each inhale, we'll try to bring length to our spine. With each exhale, we'll deepen the twist. Don't go too hard or strong in your twist just yet. We're not quite fully warmed up. So make it an easy twist. Relax back to center. Inhale to rise back up. Step back with the right foot. Find that easy lunge. On our next inhale, we'll lean forward. On our exhale, we'll turn to the left. Hooking the right elbow, finding a, a gentle twist, not too strong to step. Come back to center, we'll rise up. Let's just alternate lunges for right now. Starting with our arms at our sides, pulling our shoulders back. Let's inhale, step back, and rise, and step back, and rise. Alternating the legs, feeling some heat, still warming up. Let's fix it up. Let's step back with hands at heart center. Just take an easy twist. Come back to center and rise and step back. Easy twist and rise. Step back, gentle twist, rise, step back, gentle twist, and rise. Two more times on each side. Back, twist, and rise, back, twist, and rise. One more time each side. Back, twist, and rise. And back, twist, and rise. Let's take a nice soft swan dive, knees bent. Coming back with the left foot. I'm going to walk that left foot back. Now I'm in a low lunge. Trying to open the left hip by walking the foot back. Now with hands on thigh here, gently leaning forward. Again, still making it an easy stretch. We're not doing our deep stretch yet. Awesome. Kind of find a limit here. I'm going to press back. Padmanasana. Again, not a deep stretch yet. You need to be a little bit soft. You can get smaller. Now, having found that range, let's flow it. Come forward. We'll press back. We'll come forward. Press back. Forward. And back two more times. Forward. And 
that one more time. Forward and back. Bring that right foot back, that left foot forward. Now, as needed, you'll walk that right foot further back. Toes are come up, toenails are down. Coming up onto the thigh, finding that range, that gentle line. Not trying to go deep this way. And then push it back, finding your hamstring stretch. Breathing and sinking into it. Then we'll just flow that a few times. Forward and back. And forward. And back. Forward. And back. Two more times. Going forward. Pressing back. Once more. And back. Let's bring that left leg back. Bring our toes together. Open our knees and sit back to our child's pose. Breathing and sinking. Hips sinking to the heels. Back feet compressing, traction, stretching out. Stay here for two or three breaths. We can seal our lips. Breathing in and out through the nose. And then slowly walking our hands in. Put our knees. Curling our toes under. Holding back into the balls of our feet. On the next inhale, we'll straighten our legs into a forward fold. Exhale, sink. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sway to the right. Inhale, tall. Exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, easy chair. Inhale, rise. Come back to heart center. Let's widen our stance. Making sure that our knees point toward our toes. Inhale to lift with starfish hands. Exhale to squat. Inhale to lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale, rise. Squat. And rise. Let's rise up. Let's pivot on our right side, opening into warrior two. So the right knee slides out over the right ankle. The right heel lines up with the left arch. That left foot is more or less parallel to the back of your mat, although the heel might be the farthest thing from your torso. Hips are level, so not tilted one way or the other. We're plucking under, activating abs, shoulders back and down. Let's take our gaze out past our right fingertips. Breathing and sinking. Let's turn our palms forward. With your right hand, grab your bow. Inhale, and with your left hand, reach forward. Grab your bowstring. Inhale to open. Exhale to reach forward. Inhale to draw your bow. Exhale. Inhale. Two more times. Exhale. Now open that front body. One more time. Pull in and open. Release our, release our bow. Flip our right palm up. Inhale to lift to reverse that warrior. You can stay reaching straight up, opening up your side body with your breath. You can reach over for more of a lateral reflection. You can leave your back hand on your leg or bring it behind your back in a half bind. Find breath. Again, focus on opening up your side body. Inhale. Let's exhale that right arm down to that right thigh. And sweep that left arm either straight up or out past our ear for side angle. Finding length now in the left side of the body. Trying to make a nice line from your foot up to your knee, your hip, your shoulder. Maybe out your fingertips as well. 
Inhale back to reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Two more times. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Legs don't change. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. This time, just inhale back to warrior two. Settle in for a breath. Find your alignment. Now we can shorten our stance. And straighten that right leg. Take a breath. Let's press that left hip out. Sliding the ribs to the right, keeping your spine long. Flexing at the hip here, not flexing the spine. Right hand coming down, you can rest on the shin. You can just press your hand against the front of your leg. You can go behind your leg if you want to. Left arm comes up. Finding our triangle pose. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Opening the chest. Knees moving down or forward or up. Never feels good for your neck. Let's inhale to rise back up. Adjust our feet, coming back to move flowers. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keeping the knees open. Getting lots of openness in the hips here. Making sure those knees point toward those toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Let's open to our left side. Warrior two. So I pivot my left foot, point straight out to the side. My left heel lines up with my right arch. My right foot is parallel to the back of my mat. Again, that heel might be the furthest point from my body. Hips are square, level, tucking under, shoulders are packed. Taking my gaze out past my left fingertips. So I'm sinking to my warrior. Imagine stretching the mat apart between your feet or pulling your floor apart between your feet. Turning our palms forward. My left hand grabs my bow. I inhale to expand. I exhale to reach forward and grab my bow string. I inhale to pull back. Exhale to reach. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. A few more times. Exhale. Inhale, open the front body. Exhale. Inhale and open. Breathe. Flip that left palm up. And inhale into reverse warrior on this side. Opening the side body using breath. Resting hand on leg and coming behind the path five. Option to go over for a little more flexion. Sinking down into the hips. Opening up the side body. A couple of breaths. Let's inhale. And exhale, bringing the forearm to the thigh. Side angle, sweeping that other arm either straight up or out past the ear. Your choice for side angle. Just try to make that nice straight line up the side of your body. A couple of breaths. And we'll inhale to reverse warrior. Exhale to side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Two more times. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, your side angle. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back into warrior two. Settling in just for a moment or two. Then we can shorten our stance. Straighten our left leg, moving toward our triangle pose. Pressing the right hip out, sliding ribs to the left. Bring left arm down, onto the shin, in front of the leg, behind the leg. Bring your right arm up. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening the front body. Your gaze again can be down, or forward, or up. Couple of breaths. 
Inhale and rise back up. Bring our feet parallel this time. So bring our arms down and roll our shoulders back and down. Interlacing our fingers, pressing our palms together. Lifting the chest. Now taking a wide stance, forward fold, halfway down. Adjusting those shoulders back and down, lifting the arms up off. You can hang out here if you like, you can exhale deeper into the fold. Lifting the arms toward the ceiling, letting the head hang, squeezing out the shoulders. Let's release the hands down to the floor. Plant our fingertips under our shoulders, so we're all in a halfway lift, basically. The long spine. Let's bring the left hand under the nose, and inhale the right arm up into the air. Looking up, that spine long. Relax it back down. Let's plant the right hand under the nose. Inhale the left arm up, keeping the spine long. Looking up. Nice twist. Coming back down. Let's walk over to the right foot. Bend the knee, keep the foot grounded, and flex the left foot. We'll sit down. We'll walk over to the left foot, bending the knee, flexing the right foot. Let's walk back over to the right foot, sink into it, flex the left foot. Back to the left foot, bend the knee, flex the right foot. Let's come back to center. Shifting the weight into our heels, bring our hands to our hips. We'll inhale to rise up. Let's walk our feet back in. Let's just go a little wider than hip width this time, not as wide as moon flowers for our yogi squat. We're going to use this in our toning portion very shortly. Let's bring hands to heart center. Inhale, tall, and exhale, dropping down to the knees, point toward the toes. And if we can get down low enough, we put our elbows inside of our thighs. Try to keep the chest lifted. So just go as far as you can without like bending forward completely. So if it's only like part way, you want to hold there, that's okay. Try to keep that sternum shining forward. Now we'll all inhale to rise. We'll exhale to squat. Inhale to rise. Exhale to squat. And rise. Squat and rise. So we'll rise back up. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Toe heel our feet in. Do a quick tree pose. Let's ground first into our right foot. Let's activate our mula bandha, our root lock. Bring the left foot out to the side. Option one, your foot is a kickstand. Option two, bring your heel to your ankle for a narrow base of support. Now do find yourself a stationary spot to focus on, call that your Krishna. Option three, bring your foot to your calf. Or option four, bring it up to your thigh. Just avoid the knee. Do not want to push into the knee. A couple of breaths. Bring that foot back down. Now we'll ground into the left foot. The option one, the right foot is your kickstand out to the side. You're still primarily standing on your left foot. Option two, narrow base of support, heel to ankle. Option three, on the calf. Option four, bring it up to your thighs. 
Feel your foot against your leg. Create equal pressure. Step full of Breathe. a nice mountain and sweep your right arm up. Ground it to your right foot. Shift it to that right foot, bend the left leg, grabbing the foot or ankle. Click up and back, opening the hips, stretching the quad, drawing the heel away from the back side. You can stay right here. You can kick your foot into your hand and hinge forward from your hips. Fully express your dance with us. We'll rise back up. Release. Shake it out. Come back to the nice mountain. Ground it to your back foot. Swing your left arm up. Bend your right leg. Grab your foot or ankle. Pull up and away from your back side. You can't stretch the quads. Hang out here if you like. We'll kick into your hands and hinge forward. Your deeper dance with us. Grab a drink of water, grab our weights, and we'll get set up for our first exercise. exercise will be that yogi squat we practiced earlier, adding some dumbbells to make it an overhead press. From there we'll go into a pyramid, a split stance, feet about hip width apart, hinging forward into a rear delt row. We're going to come into a chair pose and do lat rows. We will keep those three things. So in your yogi squat stance, Grabbing your weights, rocking them at your shoulders. Drop into your squat and press and lower. Bring it up, bring it down. Exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10, 9. Press for 8, good for 7. Up for six. Make sure your knees are pointing towards your toes. Four, three, two, one. Weights come down. Coming into that pyramid stance, hinging forward, elbows pointing out to the side, and row. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. You exhale, inhale. Up and down. Twelve. Eleven. Nine. Go for eight. Seven. Six. Almost there. Four more. Three. Two. And one. And rest. Rising up. Get the stance. Sit into a chair. Engine forward. On the row. Up to your sides. Put your shoulder blades together. Elbows stay close to this one. 12, 11, 10, 9, row for 8, 7, 6, up stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, rise up, catch your breath. Come back to the squat. Your knees pointing towards your toes. 
Crack the weights. Drop it to the spot. Let's go. Press. Lift the lower. Up and down. Exhale. Inhale. 12. 11. 10. 9. Up for 8. Press for 7. Lift for 6. Almost there in 4. 3. Two, one. Coming back to pyramid. I'm switching sides, but the other foot is forward. Hip was stand, spine is down, taking the hips. Elbows pointing out to the side. Let's go. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Up and down. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine, hold for eight, seven, six, almost, four more, three, two, one. Off of your knees, step forward, stand up, hip with stance, chair pose, leaning forward, rows, lift. Squeezing elbows close this time. When the elbows are close, we target our lats. Make point out to work for your delts. Lift and lower. I lost count. Let's call it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And breath. Set those weights down for a moment. Take a breath. Have a quick drink. The next round will also be three exercises that will repeat. We're going to have one dumbbell with the right hand first. Starting mountain, we'll do lateral flexion for our obliques for one set. Then we'll step out side angle with the elbow on the inside of the side, not on top of the normal hands. And we'll do biceps. So we'll come to reverse warrior and do triceps. So the weight stays in your right hand for all three. And the next round to the left side. So weight in the right hand, mountain pose, spine is back, shoulders are back. Sweep the left arm up, lateral flexion. So bend and bend. Reach you over. Try to feel it on your left side. 12, 11, 10, 9 and lift. 8, up and bend. Down and up. Almost there. 4, 3, 2, 1. Setting that right foot out, coming to side angle with the elbow inside your thigh. Concentration for us. Up and down. Exhale. 12, 11, 10, 9, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more. One, rising up to reverse the warrior. Weight still in your right hand. Bending at the elbow. In five, six, seven, eight. Bend, extend, down, up. Working the back of the upper arm, the triceps this time. For 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Long stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center. Coming back to the mountain. Taking the weight from the left hand. Hip or stance. Ground your feet. Tap your shoulders. Keep your right arm up. Now flex. Over and back. Down and up. Breathe. Keep your 
is going for 12, 11, 10, 9, the opening 8, and the right side is done. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stepping out with the left foot, the side angle, the elbow inside the thigh, concentration curl, ready, up and down, exhale, inhale, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, curl for 6, almost, Four more. Three, two, one. Rising up to reverse warrior for tricep extension. Here we go. Bend, extend, down and up. Lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. And press. Inhale, exhale. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And breath. Catch your breath, grab a drink. The next round will be on the floor, doing chest flies and presses. We'll use both weights again. I like to do the flies in Sukta Baddha Kanasana, which is our supine butterfly. So I'm going to lie back with my feet together, my knees falling open. So my legs are like a diamond with my feet touching. Relax the head and neck, bring the weights up with your palms facing in. Ground your shoulder blades, fly out to the side. Take it out, bring it in. Inhale down, exhale up, lower two, three, four, and lift two, three, four. Inhale down, exhale up, and keep it going. Twelve, and fly. Eleven, shoulders grounded down. Ten, two, three, four, and lift. Inhale up with control, exhale back up. Eight, lift. Seven, six more, three, five, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, four, three, left, two, up, one more time, and catch your breath, swing your knees up, we're going to do chest presses in a bridge, so our feet are hip width apart, our heels are fairly close to our back side. In fact, we should be able to touch our heels with our fingertips, ideally. You can hold up in a bridge for the whole set, or you can lift and lower your hips with each repetition, whichever you like. I'm going to do this for the first set and hold up for the second set just to mix it up for myself. You throw in some mixed tempo in the middle, so listen for that. Ground your shoulders, weights up, palms through your knees. Slower lift, down, up, then extend. Inhale, exhale. For four, three, two, next. Down for one count, up for three. Lower, press, two, three. Inhale, exhale, two, and three, two more. Down, up, two, three. One more time like this. Let's go back to regular time. Eight, seven, six, five, and press. Working chest, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. 
Come back to Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall out to the side. Round your shoulder blades. Bring your weights up with your palms facing in for chest wide. In five, six, seven, eight. Lower to the side. Lift to the center. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Twelve. And up. Eleven. And five. Ten. Inhale. Exhale, center. Nine, two, three, four. Lift it up. Halfway through the set. Eight. Up. Seven. And lift. Six, inhale. Exhale up. Five, two, three, four. Almost there. Four. Three. Two. And one. Catch your breath. Lift your knees. Come into bridge. Your choice. Up, lift up. Lift and lower. Or just hold it up. Wakes it up. Chest press. Move lower and lift. Bend and stand. Inhale, exhale, down and up. Four. Three. Next. Down for three, counts up for one. Lower, two, three, lift. Inhale, two, three, exhale. Bend, two, three, extend. One more time like this. Let's go back to regular time. For eight. Seven, six, five, and press. Four, three, two, and one. Let's relax the hips down. Put the weights aside. Let's slip in some crisscrosses to the core. On our backs, drawing the knees in, floating the head, keeping the chin off the chest. Scorch your head with your hands, twist your right shoulder, fold your left knee, and extend your right leg. And twist and turn side to side. The higher the leg is, the easier it is. The lower the leg goes, the harder it is. Let's cross. We're going to range and four. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, thumb stretch, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees, relax your head, walk out your back, pull the legs in a circle three times one direction, reverse the other direction. So a second set, draw the knees, lift the head, Extend the right leg, turn the right shoulder to the left knee, and switch, twist it, turn it, find length, find range for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Two, one, we'll hug those knees, relax the head and neck. Again, rolling legs in a circle, three times in one direction, and then reversing. And rocking ourselves. Come up. Let's return to our Anjane Asana and our Hanulan Asana. Like we did earlier. Now we're ready for a deeper stretch. We'll be focusing on the stretch before we focus on the warming up. So coming up, to our knees. Bring the right foot forward. And we'll walk that left foot back. Put the toenails down on the mat. Trying to find openness in this left hip and the quad. We'll walk our hands up to the right thigh. We'll lift the chest and we'll sink forward. We use sinking breath here. So we inhale and exhale to sink. 
We're trying to feel stretch right in here. If you're not getting that stretch, you can walk your foot a little farther back if possible. Lean this. Then we'll press back to our Hanumanasana. Bringing hands down. Remember not to put your hands on the leg or stretch, and you don't want to lock out that knee. Keeping the spine long. Hinging the chest forward. Doing a hamstring stretch. Breathing and sinking, hinging at the hip. Walking the back forward. Hands up to the thigh, lifting the chest. If you keep your chest folded forward, you'll get less of a hip opening stretch. You're lifting the upper body, opens that hip more for you. Inhale, exhale, you sink in breath. Thank you. We'll press back. Long spine hinging forward. Remember, you can use those inhales to find more length in your spine. Use those exhales to sink. Do your hamstrings. Bring that right leg back. We'll step the left foot forward. Lean into it. We can again walk the right foot back as much as we need to. And open up the hip with the right hip. Bringing hands up to the thigh. Lifting the chest. Leaning into it. Using our sinking breath. Inhale and exhale. Flexors and quadriceps to your right leg this time. Now pressing back into our front leg stretch, reaching forward. One more time. Hands to the thigh, lifting the chest, pressing into it. Nice deep breaths. And pressing back. Long spine, hinging at the hip crease. Opening, we'll do pigeon by stocking the shin over the shin. Let's go with your knee, the upper ankle. We'll then inhale tall, start. We'll exhale, release the mat forward. Letting the head hang, taking our time, listening to the body. As we slowly walk our fingertips out, fold it forward. Chest to the shins. And then walking the hands back in as we slowly sit up. Whatever you were doing, it's beautiful to switch the cross with your legs. Chin over shin, 
lengthen your neck a little bit or adjust your shoulder blades. Just take the time to make yourself as comfortable as possible. Begin to release any tension in your head, forehead, around your eyes, relaxing your jaw, releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth, softening the neck, Feeling the weight of your shoulders just sinking into the floor. Letting your arms just be loose and easy, your fingertips gently curled. Your spine sinking into the floor. The abdominals falling in. Your hips grounded. Thighs relaxed, calves relaxed. Legs just falling open, feet falling out to the side. Everything's easy, there's no effort. All you have to do now is breathe, and follow that breath. And if any stray thoughts come to mind, just acknowledge them and let them go. Come back to following your breath. Using your breath, you take your deep routine with Shavasana. Thank you. 
As always, you're welcome to stay in your Savasana for as long as you like. Whenever you're ready, just bring movement to our fingers and toes. Gradually circle our wrists in one direction, circle our ankles in reverse directions. For today, let's bend our knees and plant our feet a little wider than our hips, letting our knees fall in and swaying them from side to side. Rise and fall. And then we'll just roll on to one side. Stacking hip over hip and stacking shoulder over shoulder. Staying here for a breath or two. Then with as little effort as possible, pressing yourselves up to a comfortable seated position. Pressing our hands on our thighs for a moment. As we stack the spine, press the crown of the head toward the ceiling. Shrug the shoulders up, roll them back and down. Again, finding that mountain pose on the body. On the abs in. Bring hands to heart center. Thank you for sharing this practice with me this morning. Namaste.